dear dancers, I'm Iveta Faraci and my husband Andrea Faraci would like to support our industry by staying positive and still improving our dancing at home. So what we would like to do today is to give you a set of exercises that we used to do before each practice and before each competition. These exercises help us not only to warm up our muscles and get ready to dance, but also to improve our skills, our dancing skills, our technique. So let's get started. We are ready to give you a set of six exercises, as we tell you before, that we used to do before our practice and before our competition. You do not need a lot of space at home to do, that, to do this exercise. So you can free up a little room and uh, it will be enough for you to improve your technique and to improve your strength, muscle, muscle strength. Before we start uh, to give you this exercise, it's very important that we talk for a few minutes about your posture. For these exercises to be effective, you need to maintain a good posture at all the time. So what I want to explain to you is that we have uh, four blocks of weight, your head, shoulder, rib cage, and hips. And it's very important if I turn sideways that these four blocks of weight are being maintained vertical at all time. On the ball of your foot. So try to avoid bending your hips or bending your knees and changing these four blocks of weight or lack of core strength make you hunch or fall backwards. So please try to maintain these four blocks all the time aligned properly. So now Iveta will going to demonstrate you these uh, six exercises for a lack of space and uh, um, professional video we cannot fit both of us in uh, the room. So I'm going to move and I'm going to comment with her what we're going to do. So exercise number one. So first two exercises I will show you for strengthening your feet, your ankles and calves. Here we go. Chasses. So Iveta is moving now side to side, in, side to side in a chasse exercise. As you see, the characteristic of this exercise is trying to control as much as you can your collection. So as you see, she's really controlling her collection on the way down. So her heel are kissing the floor before they start to push again from the foot, go up and recollecting. On the push up, you're also increasing your muscle strength to your calf and ankles and control on your up swing. So a lot of times you could see that uh, people dancing and they cannot control the heels, they are dropping the heels too fast. So the movement becomes very aggressive. Very rough. Right. And so what we try to do with this exercise is to create a smooth lowering through our ankles and feet and a good strong push on the upswing by using the feet and the ankles. I really do control the action down. So we can do this 10 times, 10 to the right and 10 to the left. And hopefully it will help you improve your collection and your rise through your ankles and feet. All right, guys, we're ready for the second set of exercise. This exercise is designed still to improve and strengthen your ankles and feet and also to strengthen your quad muscles. So Yvette is going to demonstrate now how this exercise will work. So she will slightly open the leg and have her body weight in between two feet. Remember the core has to be super strong still and your four blocks of weight one on top of each other. Now she will start to roll her body weight from the middle of the foot into the toe, front of the foot, and then she's going to straighten her knee, and then she's going to bend her knee back down, and then slowly roll her heel down into the floor again. You do not want to have much weight into your heel. Actually, no weight is better. So you only want to kiss the ground with your heel, and then roll your feet and ankles again, the opposite direction. So again, this exercise is designed to improve your ankle strength and your quad strength and also will improve your foot roll, okay, from back to forwards. Many times when I'm doing this exercise in the lectures or group classes, you would hear people dropping the heel and that's not good, so I don't need to hear any sound when you do go down. And 
And again, you can do a set of maybe 20 at a time of this, and uh, it's great. As you see, you don't need a lot of space to do that, and it will still improve your posture because you will focus to keep that center balance in between two legs with a perfect verticality and your roll of the ankles and feet. And again, in this position of bending now, the quad are very much engaged. And so therefore, you will strengthen those parts of the body. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Let's do the last three. Three. Two. Two. One. And that's it. Here we go. Thank you, Beta. Yeah. And I promise you, when we're done with this video, I will do the exercise too, okay? Because I feel bad for her now that she has to liar, do Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> All right, so exercise number three. All right, great. Exercise number three. Now that we have strengthened our feet, our ankles, our calf, our quads, we're basically ready to move up the ladder. So what we're going to talk now is the rotation of the spine around the feet. So Iveta still have her body weight in between two feet, her vertical line of the spine is perfect as always. And now she's going to rotate right and left, Turn. creating a twist into the spine. As you see, the twist is starting from the feet. The feet are not moving in the moment, but the ankles, the knees, the hips, and then finally the spine and the arms are rotating around the head, of which right now is the fixed point of the movement. You want to say something while you're doing it? Yeah, usually I do that 20 times. And, and she um, makes me do it 30 times. In the very beginning, like maybe you can do very slow while you, if your body is still uh, kind of cold. But then, if you feel warmer, you know, you can do slightly faster, you know, to warm up even more. So what this exercise is going to give you is not really much strength, but more flexibility, flexibility through turn of your spine, your upper part of the body, and also hips and thighs and all the way down to the feet. So and it's just rotation, that's all it is. Exactly, and I always say, please do that exercises before you touch your partner, because otherwise your dancing will not really work. So warm up your body on your own. Okay, a few more times. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. Exercise number four is for the sways. So we're going to the right side on the right foot and then we swaying to the left. Now you have to see that my body weight is still on the right foot. Now we transfer weight to the left. So my all body weight on the left and I'm swaying to the right and going to the right on the right foot and swaying to the left. So what you're really going to see at the moment, and um, what Yvette is emphasizing, is her balance is not changing when she's on the foot. So her head weight and her foot is perfectly in one line, while the rest, center of the body, center of the body, is stretching and swaying away from the foot. So she's not really uh, breaking any side while she's doing this exercise. So she's elongating, as you see, each side of the body swaying and stretching so you can do this is this exercise is great for girls it will increase your shape for sure uh, in all figures for you can do about a uh, hundred of these a day that's great <laughs> no. uh, 97 98 99 and 100 for the boys i would do probably the hands here all right and of course more vertical, but still you can warm up your sides. So it's very important that we warming up all our upper body. All right, exercise number five. We combine exercise number three and exercise number four together. So what we try to do here is to create a rotation of the spine and a sway together at the same time while we transfer weight foot to foot. So first I turn. 
Then when I transfer weight on the right foot, I sway. And turn, sway. Turn while I'm transferring the weight. And sway when I'm on the foot. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, very important when Yvette is doing this exercise, if you notice, is that her vision is always to the camera. So she's not moving her head or taking her head away, but she's still looking forward straight. And also another beautiful thing, if you notice what she's doing, it, is that her head, if she stops here, is inclining with the sway and uh, the sway her body is producing. So she will not have a crooked headline of which in a lot of people I see sometimes. So this for sure will help you improve head position and turn and sways and also strengthening of the feet too because she's still pushing from a foot to another while she's turning and transferring weight. I'm glad you saw my beautiful action of the feet. <laughs> All right, here we go. 97, 98, and 100. <laughs> okay guys, we're getting into the conclusion of the exercises. This is exercise number six. So what we're going to explain on this exercise is how to find perfect balance on one foot only. So your head weight is in perfect line with your standing foot. I think Iveta will pick up her left leg right now and embrace your arm around her chest. Now she's going to rotate her spine around the foot and trying to find a perfect balance on one foot. That is really strengthening not just feet, it really is strengthening uh, your calves and ankles, basically all leg and core. And you really have to be concentrate of not to lose balance. And if you ever get stopped by a police and they ask you to do something like this after you drink, you set. If you <laughs> practice this at home, you are done. You're going to be a pro at it. So we change the leg now, we go pick up the right leg. And turn to the right, turn to the left. There we go. So great flexibility into the spine. The head is looking perfectly straight at the camera forwards. And she's rotating all her spine with her arms around the fixed, two fixed points, her head and her feet. Her foot, sorry. Usually I do like 10 left, 10 right foot. And usually she does it after she has a glass of wine too. <laughs> so like you see, I did all exercise because my husband lazy. No, not true. The husband is perfect already. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much everybody for joining us in these uh, six exercises that uh, we give you. And hopefully you can practice this at home and uh, you will improve. You will improve your dancing um, and uh, your strengthening. And if you like our uh, class, please subscribe to Dance Vision. Yes, and uh, yeah, for sure, we would like to thank Wayne and all the team at Dance Vision to give us this wonderful opportunity to share our knowledge with all of you. Thank you so much, and guys, stay safe. We stay love safe. you all. <laughs> stay safe, stay home, and uh, save lives, and hopefully we can all reunite all together as a big dance family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.